Later in the evening, I heard that the 101st Airborne was coming. Sure. And then they showed them on the 6 o'clock news, riding across the Main Street Bridge, coming uh -huh. from North Little Rock into Little Rock. And uh, there, that was uh, quite a sight there to see I'm them sure. coming across. The next morning, they were set up at Central. They had scout jeeps on the perimeter outside around the school. Uh, we wondered what to do, what to do. Again, Mrs. Bates got in touch with the captain in charge of the 101st. Said, uh, how, many, how many days do you want to get the crowd under control? He said, I want the students here tomorrow morning. Said, I'll pick them up at your house seven o'clock. She said, well, don't you want to wait? He said, my orders are. And he repeated what his orders were to escort us to school and make sure nothing happened. And he was following out his orders. His orders said nothing about two or three days delay. Mm -hmm. His orders were to come to Little Rock, take a position and escort us to school. And that's what he was going to do. Uh, so, you know, he made it sound like we had no choice. We had, we, <laughs> we had to go You've to school ordered. then. <laughs> You've been ordered to school because, you know, those are his orders. So we got over there and reluctantly, you know, we got in a station wagon and those that had two Jeeps in front of us. Yeah. They had machine gun mounts yeah. on them on the terror. They had a patrol, a, a truck, you know, what is a deuce and a quarter. Yeah. So about what, 30 soldiers behind us and then another Jeep behind them. And we caravan from Mrs. Bates up to Central. I thought we would go to the side door like we tried ourselves and like the police did. The guard pulled up in front of the school and walked us all the way across that big old thing. You know, you don't have for to go when you come to the side entrance there. Mm -hmm. But uh, they went in the front door up those steps. It took a long time to get in there. And uh, we were in the middle of a pocket around this platoon of soldiers. Mm -hmm. We went to the door. When we got inside, we were met by two soldiers each. You know, they came up and found out that I was Jefferson and said, all right, I'm your guard for the day. And they went with me to my classes. They uh, did not come inside the classroom. And inside the classroom was not a big problem, but they waited outside the door. Mm -hmm. When class was over, he walked me to my next class. And it was like that for a couple of weeks mm -hmm. before they removed the, the personal escorts and they had guards stationed at different points in the hall where there was no place in the hall you could be that you were not in sight of a guard. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they tried it like that and things seemed to be working out. So they pulled 101st out and put the Arkansas National Guard back in. And, you know, 2020, you know, good vision. Looking back now, that was a big, big mistake.